Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we're just going to do a very quick bit of housekeeping so I'm just going to rename our tracks to something a little bit more obvious. So we've got our drums, we've got our bongos, we've got our open hat, our bass, our shaker and our pad which is something I've just added in. This is how it sounds. So as you can see, I've made this uh, eight bars long and what I've also done is I've made some of these other clips a bit longer as well. So this is our breakdown clip and if I just play this through, what I'll do is I'll rename some of these scenes as well. Okay, so you can start to see where I'm going with that. And before we move this across into arrangement view, and I'll show you a very basic a bit of stuff going on in arrangement view, what I want to do is just show you how to record in MIDI from a MIDI keyboard. So when we come to this drop, we're just going to add in something simple like a uh, ride symbol. So what we'll do is we'll find a ride symbol. We'll go to drums, rides. The 909 will be fine for this. I'm just going to drag this in. In fact, we need to create a new track. A MIDI track. And then we'll just double click like this. And then we have our ride symbol. What I'll do is I'll just rearrange this so we have all of our drums in one place instead of all over the place. We've now got our ride. And what we're going to do is just go into our preferences and make sure we've got our keyboard set up. And in this case, I have. So you can see here we've got the input and we have the output for my keyboard. Some of you might actually have a control surface. So if you've got any thing that's listed here, there's loads of different keyboards and control surfaces. And what I'm using, the Complete Control by Native Instruments, it's just a large keyboard. It is also a, cons uh, a control surface, but at the moment I've not got it set up like that. So all we need to do is make sure that we're tracking the input and we're tracking the output. We don't actually need both of these. And if you want to MIDI map it as well, then you turn the remote on, but we don't need to worry about that for now. We just need to make sure we're tracking. And then we can test by hitting some notes on the keyboard and we should see this light up here. So now I'm using a proper keyboard instead of just my computer keyboard. And because we've got record arm on, we're hearing it come through here as well. So we can find C3. And we have our ride symbol. So all I have to do is we've already got these highlighted as being played so as soon as I hit record then it's going to record straight away and all I have to do is play in some ride symbol notes so we can now check these notes out just clean them up slightly we use a keyboard shortcut command and A to select them all or we could just select them all like this and then we can quantize them we can either quantize them by using this quantize feature up here or we could just use the keyboard shortcuts so either command U or command shift and U depending on if you want the settings as well I'm going to do it so I get the settings just hit quantize and now it's pulled all of these notes into place so let's just crop that we don't even need it to be this big something like this will be fine and now we've just recorded in some MIDI notes. We can make these legato and you can see there's a note that should be at the start so I'm just gonna pull this ahead of the beat I'm just gonna finish off that note so we don't get that weird sort of uh, gap in the sound so without with So a little trick there, you see I've just got to pull it past the beat so it loops round. 
sometimes it does sound nice to have it missing, especially if it's repeating over a longer, maybe two bars, and it has a nice little gap at the start or the end. It sounds good, but in this case, I'm just going to leave that as it is. So we have our ride in, and let's see how it sounds all together. Perfect. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about session view and arrangement view and how we actually get this idea or this sort of color palette that we've created of different ideas that we can play with. How do we actually get that into a finished track and something we can listen to outside of Ableton Live?